Hi everyone and welcome to another video from your own personal online internal medicine residency bootcamp series. In this video series we will be dealing with how to answer the most common pages that you will encounter especially during your first year of medicine residency. Another page that you can get is dog the patient's blood sugar is high. Now again, when you get a page, what do you do? You introduce yourself when you call back. Hi, this is Axinia from Yellow One Team returning a page. First, you need to find out what patient we are talking about, right? Patient name and room number. Then you have to ask how high is the sugar. Then you can either say, okay, I'll be right there. Or you can ask them follow up questions on the phone. Like, did they eat dinner? Did they get their insulin? Are they symptomatic? So at bedside, you're going to look for uh, symptoms like headaches, fatigue, weakness, nausea, vomiting. Now, once you uh, assess your patient, you're going to go and do a chart review. When you do a chart review, if you find that the patient has diabetes type 1, right? You have to see their home meds, if they have been restarted. Did go to meds history, see if they received any insulin today. Did you restart their home medications? If they're not on any home medications, you're gonna have to start them on insulin immediately because type 1 diabetes, remember this very carefully, type 1 diabetes need insulin every day. Even if they are hypoglycemic, you're gonna give them IV dextrose first, but you're gonna give them the insulin regardless. They need insulin regardless hypoglycemia or not. Before you give the insulin, if they're hypoglycemia, you wanna give them IV dextrose, but insulin is vital for them to get every day because otherwise they will go very quickly into DKA. If they have diabetes type 2, again, see the home meds, have they been restarted, go to meds history, see if they have received their scheduled insulin for the day, or did you at all restart the home medications. If you haven't, restart them. If all the home medications have been given and they're still hyperglycemic, you're gonna stop the home medications because the blood sugar is not well controlled and you're gonna start them on the following regimen. You can start them on sliding scale insulin, which is short-acting insulin humalog. There is low, moderate and high sliding scale of short-acting insulin humalog. And the nurses will decide how many units does the patient need based on their glucose levels. You can also give them prandial insulin, which you will give them before every meal. You can either advance uh, the dose from the home regimen or, or you can start them on 0.05 to 0.1 units per kg per meal. You can also start them on basal or long-acting insulin, which will cover them for the whole 24 hours. You can either advance the dose from the home dose or start them on 0.2 to 0.3 units per kg per day. A quick note on metformin. If a patient uh, is on metformin at home and uh, is currently hospitalized and he's acutely ill, for example, let's say he's in the ICU, right? Would you start them, would you restart them on the home dose metformin dose? No, you wouldn't, right? Because of high risk of lactic acidosis with metformin. But once the patient is not acutely ill anymore, it's transferred to the regular medical floor, doing much better, walking and talking, then you can restart the home dose of metformin. All right, guys, so this is the end of our sugar video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys found it useful. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.